Hey guys, welcome to your um, Aries versus all 12 signs reading. Uh, this is going to be for June 2023. Um, so uh, we're just going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys for June. Uh, this Anything could come up and then we'll finish off the read with uh, you versus all 12 signs. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, you guys, I have been, I have been posting readings on my TikTok page and my Instagram page. If you guys are interested in following me on there for more content, the links for those are in the description box below, all right? So let's take a look and see what's going on with Aries. Tell me about Aries here. What's going on with Aries for uh, June? What's going on for Aries in June? Tell me about Aries in June. Tell me about Aries in June. Tell me about Aries in June. What's going on with Aries in June? We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. It seems like you're making some sort of plan here, okay? Uh, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you could be living your truth here or that you're finding a lot of balance during this time, okay? Or that you're balancing yourself out. You're balancing out your energies. Perhaps you're grounding yourself here too, okay? King of Swords here, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Justice, Libra energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse. Some of you guys could be leaving an employment here too. Here's the thing. Some of you guys could be lawyers here or something like that, okay? And that you guys could be leaving your agency or your company and starting your own thing here. Um, let's see, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. There's a lot of harmony and balance during this time in your life, I feel, for the month of June. Okay, I do feel like, you know, you're in this energy of like, do, like you're not going to do things where you're not going to uh, receive or, or, or do what you're not, you're not going to do what you're not going to enjoy here, you, you know, but with the nine of pentacles here, your money is great. Yeah, your money is great. Um, is there, are you dealing with new love or new love in general? I don't feel that. But it's more so that you're finding self-love for yourself and that you're taking care of yourself at this time here, Aries. Um, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is really interesting. It could be a situation that you could be separating from someone here too, in the process of separating from someone. Because we have someone here that could be leaving you. Because this Queen is turned, turned away from you. Okay? But yeah, there could be a separation that's happening here with the Six of Swords. You could be moving on from somebody. And I feel like you could be finding your happiness in the process here. Yeah, it seems like someone here is leaving something behind. Leaving something behind that's no longer serving him. It could be a relationship. It could also be a work situation here too. So let's see. Tell me about Aries here. Aries versus all 12 signs. From Aries all the way to Pisces. What's going on with uh, Aries here? What's going on with Aries here? Tell me about Aries versus all tall signs. 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 The four cups jumped out. Aries versus all tall signs. Aries versus all tall signs. Aries versus an Aries. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries here, Aries, um, whoever this is, things are going super well here between you guys. Yeah, there's just abundance here. There's fulfillment. There's happiness. Um, between you and your person, finances are really great here too between you guys. All right. Um, Aries versus a Taurus here. We have the Magician here and the Temperance card. Um, this is an individual that's trying to make things work here with you, okay? Uh, they want to bring a, 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 upon a peace, balance, 
stability here. Whoever this is, I also feel like this person is being really patient here with you too, Aries, okay? But with the Magician card, I do feel like this Taurus here wants to make something work here with you. Uh, Aries versus a king, uh, Gemini here. We have a Knight of Swords here and a King of Pentacles, okay? One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is trying to avoid a conversation here with you. Yeah, uh, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's running away. This individual is a, a, a bit, uh, you know, aloof here or that this person is not seeing your pain or understanding your pain. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is running away. Yeah, Aries versus a Cancer with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Uh, I feel like this is an individual that's really shy. Yeah, very timid here. Yeah, whoever this is, I, you know, I feel like when you guys are together, you guys have a great time here. But then I feel like once you guys are done hanging out with each other, I feel like this person kind of shuts down or that this person's not really communicative, okay? Uh, but I, I, it, could, it could be that this person has a lot on their mind, such as like money or career or something like that. Aries versus a Leo, the world card here in the tower. Um, things are changing very quickly here between you, uh, you, and your, uh, you and this Leo here. It could be that you and this Leo are going to be breaking up or that you guys have already broken up here uh, because there's a major tower moment be between you guys. It just seems like uh, perhaps the foundation that you have built between you and this Leo is not a strong, solid foundation here. Uh, Aries versus a uh, Virgo here. Oh, wow. The Devil and the Hangman. Um, this is an individual here that has full control of you and this person cannot, this person refuses to lose control over you. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like you're, you're kind of like this person's puppet. Yeah, and they're the master. Okay, so I feel like if you are trauma bonded, trauma bonded to this Virgo here, Aries, it's going to be quite difficult to get out. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of willpower and courage to step out of this situation here. Aries versus Libra, Ten of Swords here, and the Nine of Wands. Wow, whoever this is. I, I do feel like this person really, really betrayed you here. And in the process of betraying you, I feel like this person is feeling your hurt, feeling your pain here. It's almost like I feel like this person is putting themselves into your shoes here, okay? Um, Aries versus a Scorpio, Eight of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands. Mm. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is about to unload on you. Yeah, this person's holding on to a lot of burdens, trauma, pain. I do feel like this person does complain a lot, but they never resolve their issues. And I feel like this person's I feel like this person's coming in to complain, okay? Aries versus the Sagittarius, Knight of Pentacles here, and the Five of Swords. Whoever this is, this individual plays a lot of mind games here. This person's very calculating, this person's methodical here, this person tends to make you uh, feel jealous or inferior against them, but whoever this is, this person plays a lot of games, okay? Um, Aries versus a Capricorn. Uh, this person does not exactly know what they want with you. This person's incredibly confused, okay? Very confused. Uh, this person could be dealing with a, a couple of options here. Aries versus Aquarius, Ace of Swords here, and the King of Wands. Um, I do feel like this is an individual that's really passionate about you, very attracted to you, and I feel like this person is really clear about their intentions of what they want with you, okay, and what they expect, all right? Uh, Aries versus a Pisces, Six of Swords here, and the Knight of Wands, okay? You could be traveling to meet this person at some point here. Uh, this could be a long distance relationship where you guys are traveling back and forth and this person could be coming towards you. Could be a situation that this person might be deciding to move, uh, to move closer to you. Someone here is moving closer to somebody here, okay? So that does it for Aries. In Aries versus all 12 signs, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.